What is up, everybody? Welcome to another Joe Dobby feature. We got DC Trays on the left hand side. We got Chaos Chrono on the right hand side. DC Trays playing the AOA deck. And uh, oh, it is the other way around, guys. My bad. We got DC Trays playing the Mass Mutation deck and Chaos Chrono playing the AOA deck. Uh, Sass Range of the AOA, Chaos Chrono. 71. 71. Sass Range of the Mass Mutation. 71 we got a two 71s here one mass mutation one aoa let's do it so i actually didn't get to take a look at the deck lists myself so this is going to surprise me as much as it's going to surprise you guys hopefully and uh we will see very first turn dusk witch that is one of the dangerous plays you can make for an AOA deck, so it's pretty awesome. Um, yep. uh, subdue. Oh, <laughs> and so a turn, bad. and a turn two subdue. Do do loot do by Dusk Witch. Transporter platform. Transporter platform comes down, and an Explo Rover with access denied. Nice sweet little way to gain three quick ember there. Explo Rover works with the access denied actually because it is skirmish and is a three power fighty fighty. Untamed, they're everywhere. Two damage. Two they're everywhere, drops down, okay. dealing two damage to enemy creatures. Fang House comes down. I like Fang House a lot when he came out at AOA. Is a hazardous three and an assault three creature with three power. Um, shadows. Master plan drops, and I have no idea what he put down there. Um, I'm offer. Wow. Lots of early pips here from the Mass Mutation deck. Let's see how the AOA responds. Stars drops down, being able to take out the Explo Rover. Manages to take down two throwing stars. One of them had to be unfortunately discarded. It is five ember to three here in favor of the mass mutation deck. Ooh, Commander Chan with two capture pips. Yeah, it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back, yes. Access denied comes back down <laughs> after being transporter platformed. And Commander Chan does too. Tropic Swirl twice. Nets himself two amber there, but actually gets the captured two amber, so he's a total five. Ooh, the graph comes in. I liked Helperbot quite a bit the first time I saw him at, uh, when AOA was released. DC Trays manages to forge his first key here. With Chaos Chrono at check for seven. Shadows. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Francis. Uh, look over there. Capture one here. Deal two here. Zero one. Zero one. Brad Penny comes in with a damage pip, dealing one damage to Fang House. Yeah, I, I stole one. You had seven, right? Yeah. And 
and then stealing one from Look Over Dare and one from Rad Penny. Francis the Economist, very interesting card. Three power shadows creature with skirmish fight. Each player gains one ember each. Weird. <laughs> Ooh, by Nate Rupture. We are seeing a ton of cards from AOA that that had really managed to make a good place. I also love Director ZYX quite a bit. Elusive creature that says at the start of your turn, archive the top card of your deck. If he came back in Mass Mutation, that would have been pretty insane in my opinion. Pairing with Cards like Auto Encoder and Novo Dynamo and Cronus. Be insane. Master Plan pops on DC Trace side with Common Deer coming down. Gaining one and capturing one due to the enhancements. Francis takes, but also gives when he fights. Gorm comes down. Oh yes, Commandeer's effect still happens, so for the remainder of the turn, whenever you play a card, a friendly creature captures one. Angry Mob. Angry Mob, one of my personal favorite cards. Really funny. Really troll card, I love it. One stood against many, getting one and capture one on Aldrich. I'm gonna choose Francis. Interesting play to really generate as much as he can here with Francis the Economist. Very big capture based Sanctum turn play here by DC Trays. I believe this is the second time Chaos Chrono has been almost taken off a key. Manages to forge due to Francis the Economist's double edged sword fight effect. Sucker Punch comes down, gaining Chaos and Ember, and taking the Rad Penny out, which means DC Trace gets to shuffle Rad Penny back into his deck. Dust Chronicles. Your opponent has more Ember than you, draw a card. If you have more Ember than your opponent, archive a card. Win win nonetheless, in my opinion. Gamgee comes out. What Shadows really needed in this set was a Frodo. DC Trays manages to forge his second key here. It's still pretty tight, guys. We got three Ember on Chaos Chrono's side with one key forged. DC Trays has two with two keys forged. Given all the capture and ember control that this mass mutation deck has shown, it's uh, quite a surprise that AOA is managing to hold its own. Counter suit after an action card has been played, but before resolving a play effect, ward the creature. Lay of the land comes down, allowing DC Trace to look at the top three cards of his deck, rearranging them in any order he wishes, and then drawing one.
That is a nice blast shielding with an ember bonus and a draw bonus. Transporter platform brings Angry Mob and upgrades back to DC Trey's hand, allowing him to drop Blast Shielding on Sacro Alien in order to draw and gain another pip. Very good efficient Starline's play there. Angry Mob might have just changed his hand, but manages to get to as close as he can to a key there. Director ZYX, putting in work. Ah, Niffle Grounds. I've never used that card. I've only used it for the Amber bonus. Love Witch of the Wilds, Grove's Keeper is beautiful. Pretty big turn there. Duskwitch comes back down, which leads me to believe Chaos Chrono has two Duskwitches. And just like that, the board looks fairly even with DC Trays only up by one key. Okay. Um... okay. DC Trace takes out the Dusk Witch, triggering Sacro Alien's effect. He's just gonna look at the top three cards of his deck. One in the hand, one back on the top of the deck, and one at the bottom. DC Trey is being very keen to take out the Dusk Witch as soon as she is dropped. I would do the exact same thing. DC Trey's really prioritized taking out that Dusk Witch, not really getting to to generate any Ember that turn, but manages to remove a pretty big threat. Logos, mm -hmm. discard Binate Rupture. Mm -hmm. Discards the Binate Rupture. I can see why. AOA, relentless board of small creatures which are very annoying to take out. Archimedes, elusive creature which grants neighbors the pretty cool destroyed effect. Archive this creature. Gorm still on the board on DC Trey's side, but I don't blame him. I would just let that Niffle Ground stay there forever. Okay. 
triggering Witch of the Wilds during each turn in which Untamed is not your active house, you may play one Untamed card. There Everywhere drops, dealing two damage to enemy uh, flank creatures and one damage okay. to each creature not on a flank. I remember pulling off There Everywhere with Save the Pack way back when, and it's always been a fun time. Especially against Mass Mutation, where a lot of the Amber Control, because of the bonus ember, uh, bonus capture icons, can be really like capture centric. Chaos Chrono manages to put himself on check, and the director ZYX gets. Ever more powerful. Mm -hmm. Bulwark. Bulwark. Remember, he's not Bulwark. He's Bulwark in this set. So say it with me. Not Bulwark, but Bulwark. Okay? Grants he and his neighbors elusive, uh, assault too. I don't know why a big guy with a shield would ever grant you elusive. Baldrick the Bold breaks the 5 power director ZYX elusive, allowing him to gain 2 as per his before fight effect. Uh, yep, so and the assault, so the assault would kill him. actually manages to take director ZYX out. So very, very strategic board placement there by DC Trace. We need a Baldrick the Underlined, Baldrick the Italicized. To really kick things off. And pass. For six. Yeah. Manages to get up to a second key here. Is Chaos Chrono. I don't know why I said that like how Yoda would. Seven Ember on DC Trey's end here. He is at check for the win. Shadows, picking up yep. Shadows there it is. Someone's gonna get taken off a key. Sucker punch. Yep. Let's take out Trigon. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Opens with a sucker punch. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Trigon gets hit. Encounter suit on sucker punch. Baldrick the Bold gets warded as per Encounter Suit's effect. Gamgee reaps gaining and stealing. Umbra comes down with a very simple effect of Fight Steal 1 and Skirmish. With only two power, Umbra has never ever really lasted um, a turn or two on the board. Or Witch of the Wilds. Mm -hmm. Big porcupine. Mm -hmm. Bolsters the defenses of Gamgee there with Way of the Porcupine. Giving him Hazardous 3. If you guys like unboxing videos, feel free to check out my unboxing playlist. I'm doing a bunch of mass mutation videos, uh, and uh, towards the end I always try to find some highlights of each deck, uh, and hopefully it'll help with the strategizing and the evaluating, so check those out. Nerf Blast, Nerf Blast there it is, drops down. DC Trace is off a key while Chaos Chrono is on a key, and this is two Ember each. 
This is a closer game than what we had initially expected with Mass Mutation versus AOA, uh, Age of Ascension, but we'll see how things play out. Life for a life comes down. Who's gonna get it? Sutter skin. Huh? Sutter skin gets archived. As per life for a life, very good play there. Bulwark. Huh? Bulwark manages to get taken out. We have our first discard pile evaluation. <laughs> ah -ha -ha. Man, I hope you guys are really enjoying this as much as I am, man. I'm having a blast. Angry Mob art always reminds me of the Angry Mob uh, from Shrek, which is why I really love that card. Ronnie, steal yeah. Ronnie steals one here, manages to take DC Trace further off a key, and Chaos Chrono is at check with eight. Really interesting runs here. This back and forth, it arguably is much closer than when it was Mass Mutation versus Worlds Collide. Um, once again, just a quick reminder, both decks are a 71 SAS. Both players were the same players who are playing from the last episode. So I'm trying to keep the control variables here, uh, leaving just the difference in, in, in set styles, I guess, uh, up for contest. Keeper effect resolves. Okay, so shadows. Okay. Save house. Oh, I love save house. Miasma bomb. Miasma bomb comes in. Ooh, is that a little too late? Let's see what happens here. Tappity tap tap. T -t 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 -t. Red Penny comes uh, in one, with a steal. capture initially, and then the steal. So both players, both players, Good count. two. Right barrel. Uh, is this is this it? Deal uh, one to Red Penny. Yep. So Red Penny comes down with a capture and a steal. But does not manage to take Chaos Chrono out of forging a key, and it looks like AOA is gonna take it against this Mass Mutation deck. Deck list will be posted in the beginning during the edits. Um, absolutely close game. I think both decks were evenly matched. Uh, it was very, very close. So thanks again, guys, for watching, and peace.